What all else do we have down here? Probably an entire Draugr secret ancient ruin, right? Let's see, let's equip our axe of battle. Turn this on. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? They just decide to dig straight down? Come on! What were you all doing here in this sinkhole mine? Is this the sinkhole? I hope this is the sinkhole and y'all just didn't decide like, Oh yeah, you know what? Maybe we just dig straight down. You can't do that. <laughs> what happens if there's lava underneath you? Come on, everyone knows you don't do that. <laughs>When we had last left the last Dragonborn, Delphine and Esbern were reunited at last. Yes, the two remaining blades who operated within the Skyrim province were once again brought together in the name of saving the world? Yes, so it seemed, for deep within Skyhaven Temple did they discover <gasps> Alduin's Wall, built long ago by the Ancient Blades, the Dragon Guard, and their crafts workers <laughs> who carved into the very stone of the mountain this prophetic wall which told of events that had already occurred in events that were yet to come. And one such event was the last Dragonborn, dispelling and driving out Alduin, the World Eater, a terrible wretched dragon who would consume the souls of the dead until none remained. And it lied on the shoulders of the last Dragonborn to do exactly that. But first they needed a little bit of help, from who you might be wondering why none other than the Greybeards of High Hrothgar. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Oh yes, as well. I took a whole bunch of notes. Uh, we had a, a whole lot of discussion last time, right? Some very fascinating lore stuff. And of course, you know me. <laughs> got most of it fucking wrong. <laughs> uh, not, not quite, not quite, but let's see. A lot of folks wrote in. Let's see. Uh, gentle viewers, Alexander and Charlotte wrote in saying that perhaps the word I was looking for to describe this architecture is a pagoda. That sounds about right. Uh, let's see. Gentle viewer Terry wrote in saying that, remember I was asking about this, if Skyhaven is an ESO, and it is kind of, it's visible, but not accessible. Very neat, I'm looking forward to that. Hey, by the way, check out the cool streams, right? <laughs> also, general viewer Elliot wrote in saying that we need to talk to Delphine for them to continue their conversation, which holy shit, I would have totally just left here without doing that. And general viewer Stuart wrote in saying that the map in the book that we read, the Annals of the Dragon Guard, shows the burial sites, all of the dragon burial sites, not necessarily the masks which I don't think we've found any yet, have we? Ooh, I like that. I like that we haven't found any yet. And finally, well, let's get on inside. Here we go. There we are, Skyhaven Temple, a nice crunchy door. <laughs> Sounds like you were breaking a cookie in half, splitting it, sharing it. Here we are. Gentle viewer Samantha wrote in, saying that indeed events from all five games are in here. First, there are fragments from the Staff of Chaos, the Numidium, what we thought was the Akulakan, right? Red Mountain is in here somewhere. Where is Red Mountain at? I have no idea. Where is Red Mountain at in here? Do we see it? Hmm. It's in here somewhere. Oh, that might... Is that it right there? Oh, Jesus. No, that's it right there, right next to the Numidium, isn't it? That's the plume of smoke coming out of it, I think. And where are the fragments at? I have no clue where they, those are at. I have no clue where fragments of the Staff of Chaos are. But they're in here somewhere, I believe it. Maybe these here? This? No, those look like skeletal dudes, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. Would it be maybe back further this way? I don't think so, but maybe? Maybe? Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that one. They're in here somewhere. I'm just dumb. 
All right, and then also, let's see. Oblivion Gates, of course, around the White Gold Tower, and the Skyrim Civil War, which is this stuff right here, right? This is the Civil War. Because does this depict... It's hard to tell, but it looks like, yeah, people was round shields, that would be Stormcloaks, and then the Kite Shields. That's the Imperial Legion, maybe? I think? I think so. These are- these might be the Stormcloaks, and these might be Legionaries. I think? I can kind of suss out where Red Mountain is, but I have no idea where on this the fragments are. Which I guess makes sense, you know, they're literally fragments of one individual thing. From a game that I haven't played yet. Ah. Alright, but nonetheless, very cool, very cool. And thanks, of course, to all the people who gave likes to all of those folks, as always. Alright, now let's speak with Delphine, right? We need to have a little conversing. Do you need something? Do you need something, Delphine? What is it? Let's see. What do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. I think we went think over this. It. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? I do wonder how that went. Huh. And honestly, in that case, maybe that would have been for the best if Tiber Septim didn't found the Empire, right? Because, I don't know, the way that the Empire brought together all of the different provinces, it wasn't nice and peaceful, right? It was pretty fucking bloody and awful, right? And continues to be, right? There could have been, like, a, a wiser, more gentle way to go about unifying everyone rather than through force. All right. So this is all the blades? Two people? The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the blades. Someday. Mm hmm. Maybe I can help you find new recruits. If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember though, being a blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look. I think we can induct Carjo. I don't know if I want to, though. Poor old fucking Carjo. Especially since we don't have a good replacement. We'll have. To, I'll have to look up a list of all the potential inductees. I do want to get uh, some people inducted into the order, though. I definitely want that. All right. Cool. I'm just not sure if I want poor Carjo, right? I like traveling around with Carjo. Of course, you know, like I said, I have a... A strict rule for people who what do you need, <laughs> I want to travel with, right? They need they need to have some semblance of storyline, huh? Okay, let's see. What are our jobs here? Solitude and Windhelm. Okay, I was wondering if we had maybe Markarth or something set up here. Let's see. Oh shit, what's our quickest way out of here? We have to go all the way through Karthspire again? You're fucking kidding me! No way! Do I really have to because I'm on survival mode? All right, you know what? Fuck that. You know what? At least for exiting this place. We can just jump off the fucking mountain. <laughs> We're gonna jump off the fucking mountain. You know how we do. Shit. That's the one thing that the Blades and the Greybeards have in common. Exit strategy. Jumping off a fucking mountain. There we go. Gosh, what nice crunchy doors. Holy hell. All right. Over here. Of course, you know, in like a first person game like this where going through a door signifies you're entering and going through like a load screen and all that, you do want it to be kind of crunchy, right? You want it to have a good sound effect, probably even like louder and more pronounced than it realistically would be, right? It's just satisfying in when you consider, you know, it's a fucking video game, <laughs> right? Okay. Let's see. Over here, this is the small... Yeah, this is Cole Skegger Mine. We've been here before. Okay. Let's see. We could go over here to... This fist. Vranvige's Fast. I thought it said fist. Because this is our quest from the Greybeards, right? Find the word of power here? We should do that. That way, when we next go up there, we can get another word of power quest from them, right? 
That seems like a great move, right? Doesn't that that sounds absolutely perfect. Okay, how do we get over here though? What's our best route? I think maybe we hit up Morthal and then travel south? That could be it. Or we could just start from here and go on right over there. Let's see, what do we think is quicker? From Morthal south? Or from our current location, Skyhaven, to the east? I think it's about equal because you have to factor in the fact that we need to travel from Skyhaven to Markarth, right? It's not just from Morthal here. We have to go also to Markarth. So it might be roughly equidistant. I'm not sure. I think we just run it, right? Especially since there's unexplored uh, areas over there. We'll probably hit up some cool ass caves and shit. I'm down for that. Let's see. Let's make sure we have everything else untracked here on our big quest log. There we are. And then collect a bounty. Word of power. That's it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, hey, Esbern's come outside. It's a beautiful day, Esbern. <laughs> or should I say, it's a fine day with you around. <laughs> Isn't that... That's from Morrowind, right? I'm not... That's not Oblivion, huh? Gosh, we're getting to a point where they're all becoming mushed together for me. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's no good. Okay. What's our strategy here? Just become ethereal, right? And then leap off the side. Quick save, just in case. Fight! Here we go! Hello, hello! Ooh! There we are. Cool. Good luck, Carjo. <laughs> oh, look, I ate a fish, and it didn't count because I was ethereal at the moment. Oh, that's fascinating. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Up and over here. Good. Let's see. Yeah, so if we just hit up here, it should be... Oh, look, we're, it's not actually being tracked? Oh, what's up with that? Look, because that's not it. Oh, no, it still thinks we're inside of this area. Oh, shit, is that actually going to be a problem? Did we, like, phase out of the place incorrectly? No, look. Yeah, some of this stuff is loaded in. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Right? Here, you know what? Just to be on the safe side, let's go in into here, and then we'll get back out. It should reconfigure our map. There we are. I forgot what game where I did that, and I didn't notice it for a long time. Hmm, it caused, like, some weird level of detail bug. It may have been Fallout 4, somehow I, like, shot myself out of, like, Diamond City or whatever when I shouldn't have. Maybe? Okay. Or maybe it was- it was Oblivion when we were going super speed. It was Oblivion, wasn't it? Okay. Let's see, up here. There we are, and look, yeah, see, we've got all sorts of cool caves and shit that we can explore. Good, good, good. Grab some sweet moss. Oh, I love that. Alright. We got this creepy shit over here. Cool. <laughs> Climb on up the mountains. Who knows, maybe we'll find another dragon to do battle with. Who can say? I'm, I'm down for it. Oh, look, there's a little building there. Oh shit, what's that about? After we check out this mine, let's check out that building, huh? Look, I'm in the mood for some just random ass exploration. I, you know it, I love it! Good lord! Oh look, it's a whole like mining settlement. What is this place? Hey! Solian sinkhole. Oh no. Whoa there! I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. Why? What's in there? I go where I please. <laughs> I go where I please. Fine, but there's a whole crypt of Draugr underneath the mine. Oh, is there? We're not going in there until the Yar's men come to clear them out, so I wouldn't go down there. Okay. Hey, do you want me to clear them out? Whoa there! Oh, okay. I don't know where you're going, <laughs> the but game wanted me to be mine. nice. It isn't safe. <laughs> it isn't safe? Why? We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with Draugr. We're not mining up any ore with those undead around, so I wouldn't go down there if I were you. Alright. I'll handle those Draugr for you. You're joking, right? Those bone walkers will tear you limb from limb. Have you seen but me? But if you want to get yourself killed, go ahead. Dude, I could, like, rip them in half at this point. Jesus. Okay, let's look up here. 
Grab some of this shit. A miner's house. Okay, let's go inside. Oh. Hey. Toothle. We tunneled into an old crypt. We're warning strangers to keep out. Okay. Are you all like lovers, or is this like the company house? I'm not going into the mine with Draugr lurking down there. Okay, don't worry, dude. I'm going in. I'm gonna fucking get them. I'm gonna fucking get them all. And by get... I mean kill. <laughs> Damn, I'm cool. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Look at this. What a weird little area. I don't think I've ever been here, dude. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's see. Do you have anything to say? Or are you... You're a reach... Wait, oh, no. You. Okay, you do have something to say, but I don't want to hear it. Oh, Soldian's sinkhole. They were down here mining for kitchen appliances. Sinkholes. <laughs> a bunch of sinks. Okay. Let's turn on our light. Good. Get some muffle. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. You dick! Uh. Let's throw some soul trap in there, huh? Jeez. Alright. Oh shit, do I not have a soul gem big enough for these dudes? Eat him, my man. There we go. Got him. Let's see, what have you got on you? Is that a trap going off or something? What was that? Let's see, let's also get our shout, whirlwind, or unrelenting. Restless Draugr, what have you got? A greater gem, I love it. Alright, up here. Oh. Got ya. Cool. Okay. What have you got? Bone meal. Love that. Okay. Should we take one of these, like, honed ancient Nord war axes? I kind of like them. Right? I kind of like the look of them. We've been talking about what kind of axes I like the look of. I kind of like this. You know, it ain't much, but you know, that's that's my fucking aesthetic, I guess. I like something that isn't super duper, like, intricate and wild, right? Like something a little downplayed. And you know what? Maybe this is exactly the ticket. Let's see, what's even the base damage on this? Oh, we can't tell here. Let's see. Hmm. B damage 12 versus 14. I think I'm down for this. You know, I think I'm down for that. Here, Carjo, come hither, dude. <laughs> come hither, dude. <laughs> All right. Let's see. If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them. I will show them. Carjo just your loves like smelling people. Dude's wild. All right. You know what? This is a problem. Carjo is super encumbered by what? Oh, fuck. Dragon bones out the ass. Carjo has like a million dragon bones. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? Hmm. I might need to get rid of some of them, right? Should I? Do I dare? Or perhaps, look at my carry weight. Perhaps I can just stash just enough here. To be able to move properly. Kajit will follow. I lied. I cannot. <laughs> All right. How about these steel arrows? There we go. Look, that's good. Good lord, there is moonstone in here, though. That is not good. Okay. You know what? We should have hit up Markarth first. <laughs> good god. Kajit guards your back. Let's see. We follow then. Hmm. Should we hit up Markarth first? Should we turn around right out of this place? And hit up, like, Markarth? Oh, fuck, it's so far. Nah, you know what? We go big mode. Alright. I will shoulder some of your burden. I'm just gonna have to ditch, like, some of these bones and scales, right? We'll get rid of one. One bone. Kajit, if anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smit. I will shoulder some of your burden. Then, let's see, would you like this bow, perhaps? Oh, it's a quest item, okay. 
let's see what else this blades shield good we've got a whole bunch of alchemical reagents deposit those mass paralysis eh, we'll hold on to that okay that's good enough for now we and then we'll ditch these because as nice as these are go there the crafting situation for them you can't like use them to easily prestige right because they're like the final thing that you unlock to build shit out of huh whereas with like moonstone ore and all that that's kind of like upper mid tier right not quite as high as the dragon stuff as far as like prestiging your smithing there we go good then let's turn this on and also the value on it is way better right the value to weight out of what you would craft which is really saying something because you know the dragon bone equipment that's super duper valuable when you craft it up so you get a lot of xp but hey this ore make jewelry out of that huh we'll eat that what have we got here anything sacks filled with cabbages barrel filled with salt i'll take the salt red apples at least that's my reasoning right okay up and over here wow look we've already completed the dungeon Shorn of Brett's last dance. I guess I'll take it. We can sell it. Some more moonstone. Large sack. More moonstone. Okay. Anything over here? No, I think we're good. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Over this way. What all else do we have down here? Probably an entire Draugr secret ancient ruin right let's see let's equip our axe of battle turn this on oh shit what the fuck is this they just decide to dig straight down come on what were you all doing here in this sinkhole mine is this the sinkhole i hope this is the sinkhole and y'all just didn't decide like oh yeah you know what maybe we just dig straight down you can't do that <laughs> what happens if there's lava underneath you? Come on, everyone knows you don't do that. <laughs> Alright, over here. I think we've... We've got it for the most part. There's a little bit of good shit right there. Hmm. Can I look on top of that? No? Over here? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Let's dig up some more delicious moonstone. Lovely. There we go. Maybe we'll get some cool gems out of it as well. Nope. There we are. Okay, do I just plunge down in here? No return? <laughs> no idea how I'm going to make it out here? I just have to, you know, rely on <laughs> the, the level design and all that to... Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sh oh car show. You, <laughs> you fucked me up, dude. All right. Boom! Is there anything over here? There's something over there. Oh, that's probably the way back. That's got to be the way back. Okay. Here we go, then. Is this going to kill me? Do I need to land on that little stick to not die? Here, let's find out. Oh. Ooh, it hurts a lot. Uh-oh. Let's see. What does this Breton want to do? Fight for me. Exactly. I knew it. Okay. Sugar. Uh-oh. Got the wrong shit equipped. Whew. Let's drink some potions here as well. Let's see. Might as well do that. And let's get some healing going on. How about... Fortify health and heal. That seems like a good move. Oh, look. They're running. They're running from me. Oh, shit. There's a death lord here as well. Oh, they're running after the Breton <laughs> that I resurrected. Okay. There we go. Gotcha. Lovely. Man, there are a lot here. Okay. Cool. Soul trap you. Good. And you. 
Good. Whew. Good shit. Oh, the Breton died. <laughs> what a death knell. Okay. Let's turn this light on here so we can see a little bit. Good. Got some burial urns, as you would expect. Alright, anything else good around here? Hmm. No, okay. Let's continue moving. What have you got? Ancient Nord War Axe. An ebony war axe. Oh jeez. That is pretty valuable, but you know what? We have to leave it. Okay. Good. You know what? We were planning on going this way out of like time efficiency. But we're probably going to have to make a pit stop in Warsaw anyway to sell some shit off, right? <laughs> okay, burial urn, minor stamina, love that. Let's get some healing. I've accidentally equipped it twice. Okay. Oh shit, look at this. Okay. How did that guy die from the fall? Is it because the dudes appeared? Oh shit. Oh wait, you're dead. Steel shin boots. Oh, okay. They're like the Imperial Armor shin boots, but with no engraving. I wonder if that's like a fun rare item. Alright, so this one is like a fake out, huh? This one is totally just like a pull this lever and die lever, right? Because the little nipples here. Okay. Ah, uh, oh? Oh, it didn't do anything. Oh, over here. Okay, there's two of them. I see. So what happens if we do this? Here, Carjo, you test You're it You're taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Let's see. I need you to do something, Carjo. What do you need? I just need what you to it? pull this lever here. It will be done. Good luck, Carjo. Good luck. <gasps> oh, it's not pokies either. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Look, Carjo's fine. He's completely unfazed. He knew it was going. It's like, really? That's it? <laughs> I could take a lot more than that. <laughs> Fucking car show. There we go. Over here. Look, I've done it again. Okay. Up top, let's turn on the lights. Boom. And look at this. This seems. Ooh! Ooh! Jeez! Ooh! Okay, let's get on in here. There we go. See? <laughs> what a dude. There we go. Get you with that. Good. Let's see. You know what we might be able to do here with this one guy? Let's see. Let's get our bound battle axe here, and let's get a little battle axe. Here, you know? Let's see, do I have a berserker's filter or whatever it's called? Let's see, can I search? Hmm, of the berserker. All right, cool. Do I have any others, or just this? Just this one, okay. Great. There we are, look at this. Efficiency, huh? Let's see, let's also scarf down a whole bunch of our stam potions, right? So we can get rid of these. Boom. What's the range of this? You have to imagine it's quite long, right? There we are. Oh yeah. Good job, Carjo. Tanking like a fucking champ. Oh, I just level up my shit over here. There we go. Oh, so good. You know what? We need to make a set of equipment that buffs up our two-hander. That way we can just grind that up real quick, right? That should be our next goal once we're in town. And ready to go with a whole bunch of crafting, right? Okay. Yep, the greatsword. Looks neat. Okay, what else is good in here? Look, there's a whole bunch of, like, reflecting pools. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's ancient Draugr piss. Oh. Delightful. Oh, look. 
popular piss treasure. Scroll of Mayhem. Submerged within 10,000 year old Draugr piss is the Scroll of Mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything worthwhile here? Or was it really just... I think it really was just for the Scroll of Mayhem. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, there we go. Good. Okay. Let's turn on the lights here. Wow, more moonstone. Okay. Makes sense, you know. Fitting. This is a moonstone or area. Oh, on accounting of the scrolls. I don't know that we've read this. We're going to take it. Olaf and the dragon, rising thread, minor maze, Pelinol. All right. Cabbages, yum, yum, yum. Potatoes, yumming it up. Okay, what's here? Just a whole bunch of candles. Gosh, there's so many. It's like blinding me to even look at them. Bunch of healing potions, frost salts, an ear, a toe. Okay. <laughs> they were into some kinky stuff here. Fair enough. Let's see, anything else? Oh shit, there's a dude. Okay, got some money. Aversion to magic. Okay. Oh shit, we're over encumbered. That ain't great. Let's see, what can I ditch over here? We've got some hides we could get rid of. Right. They're not super necessary. Take that. Another Draugr, seven Quatlus. How about you? Eh. Okay. Over here. These are emptied out. What is this? Looks like a button. It is not, though. All right. Good stuff. Gordon has become one with this table. Okay. You know what? I respect it. Let's turn on the lights. Wolf Queen, Book of Daedra. Oh, shit. Ebony War Axe of Evoking. Jeez. Karsha, isn't that yours? If anyone sneaks up on us, I... I will show Karsha, you Karsha, did you, like, get back. disarmed or something? Oh, shit, you did. Huh. Okay, weird. Kajit will follow. Here, Karsha, will you pick back. this thing up? Let's see, I need you to do something. What do you need? I just what? need you to use your cool weapon here. It will be done. There you go. Oh shit, he's having some difficulties. <laughs> Sorry, Carjo. There you yes. go. I'm I'm helping. I'm helping, Carjo. I'm helping. There you go. Helping out with your pathing. It will be done. <laughs> this little tiny hole of water. It's not doing well. <laughs> oh. Hey, there we are. Cool. Is that all? Okay. Let's see, anything here? Ancient Nord shit. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. Let's turn on the lights again. Oh, an urn? Ah, oh, Magicka. Take it. Oh, fuck. And there are just booby traps all over, huh? Okay. Let's see, which way do we want to go around here? This looks fun. Okay. Oh, shit. This looks... This looks like it's fucking rigged to blow, huh? Is there a secret trap here? I don't see one. Do we see evidence of something that could get sprung upon us? No. Maybe it really just is an amazing treasure. Okay, cool. I love an amazing treasure. Okay. Neat. Here, let's power level up our junk here, right? Seems like a good move. Okay, down and around here. Look at them, twist and wind. Okay, cool. Who said- Whoa! Oh, oh yeah. shit! Okay, let's go. What's that thing gonna ah. do? Oh, shit, that thing hurts real bad. Oh my god, it almost killed me. Jesus. Okay, let's see. Do I have some, like, resist shit? Hmm. Let's see, let's fortify and heal up. Right? Okay... Hmm... Maybe I'll drink this fortify one-handed? There we go. And then... I will... Equip... Hmm... 
Let's equip our emerald, our silver emerald necklace for the resist, right? That way we're capped again. Okay. There we go. And then we can also get like a one of strength or whatever, right? Yeah, that's good enough. Jeez, look at this dude. You got some strength to it, huh? There we are. Shit, am I like absorbing them or what? Whew. We better take a potion before we die. Let's see here. That'll do. Okay. How the hell do I turn this thing off? Or were they controlled by this man? These weird, like, claw machines. Parakeet blasters. I think they were controlled by this dude. Okay. Ah, uh, you've got some ebony shit on you as well. Neat. Okay. Let's see, over here. We'll take all these. Ironically, these are worth, like, way more. <laughs> in the form of potions at this point. Okay, good. Turn on the lights. Yeah, I think that dude was just controlling these blasters. An iron greatsword of torpor. Hmm. Don't need it, though. Alright. Cool. Let's do a little healing, top ourselves off. Eat a salmon steak on the go. Look at that. Isn't that, like, the greatest thing we've done so far in this entire playthrough? Forget the all the overpowered enchants that we're now, like, wading through. How about putting salmon steak on five? Man, got a lot of shit here, huh? Okay, we equip this. And we need our charmed amulet again. Our necklace. Oh, look. More. Good. I don't think we have the perk this time for using Moonstone Ore, but as we're prestiging smithing, we'll eventually have enough points to be able to just, you know, get it. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. I think that's a full clear of everything worthwhile, huh? Let's see. What's our carry weight at? Could we make off with the shield? We might be able to. I don't know, though. Here, Karjo. Do you want this cool and amazing shield? Oh shit, we can really make off with this stuff. Look, oh my gosh. All right, it's probably the, what do you call it, item that I have on me, right? Okay, let us equip this, good. And up and over and around. What's over here? An ebony sword of devouring and a briar heart. Okay, what's it do? Absorbs health, ah, cool. All right. Let's turn on the lights. And are we up where we thought we would be? No, not yet. But I think we will be. Okay. Over here. Good. Oh shit. Careful there, Gordon. Okay. Up and around. Here it is. Here's the big fun sinkhole. Okay. Great. Cool. Yeah, that was a fun little dungeon, huh? Good size to that. Fun little little environment, fun little thing going on in there. Jeez. They were really lucky that most of the Draugr ended up inside of the hole, right? <laughs> Rather than uh, just on surface level where they started to pour out. That must be weird, right? That there's just like pockets underground where there's just Draugr running, roaming around. That's, that's scary. That's a little creepy. Let's smelt down our Dwarven ingot, right? Or no, that will increase the weight by one. Want it. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. Where'd the dude go to? Inside their house, maybe? Knock, knock. You lost? No. Check it out, Perth. We're keeping the mine closed until that crypt is clear. Dude, guess what? I cleared it of Draugr. You did? We were waiting for the Yarl to send an entire regiment to clear that mine. Well, I'm Now we can cool. get back to work. Thank you. I have Moonstone ore to sell? No, I don't. Until next time. What about you, other you dude? Need to leave now. Wait. Oh, shit. He won't even let me hang out in here. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. It's crazy to still be working here. 
What if there's more Draugr down there? I mean, I don't think they respawn or anything. All right, you all have fun in there. <laughs> Let's rob the shit out of them, Carjo. Let's rob the shit out of them. How can they detect me still? There we go. Good. There we are. Perfect. All right. Inside here. And then, what have you all got? Oh my gosh, some refined malachite. I love it. In here? Eh, nothing too good. Oh, we can actually sleep in their bed. Weird. We weren't allowed to chill out in here, but we can sleep in their bed? All right. Let's see, we'll take some of this. Steel soldier armor. Huh, what is that? How's that look? Is that from the, um, the Creation Club stuff? Is this the Blades equipment? Oh my god! It's a look! Look at that! That's a fucking look! Oh! What a cool look! Alright! Shit, I, I kinda like it. Okay. Let's see, let's equip our ebony stuff though. Because ultimately, you know what? It is enchanted. Okay, all this stuff, cupboard filled with tunics, barrels of tomatoes. I'll eat them. Here, car show. Do you want to carry you some junk? You are taking us somewhere warm, Maitre. I will shoulder some of your burden. Okay, no, car show, you, you actually will not. Sorry, dude. Okay. Kajit will follow. Let's see. Here, but check out this. We can sleep here for like, I don't know, 12 hours, 7 a.m.? That seems good. And then we'll wake up, and we'll be raring to go, and we can take a draft of strength or whatever. And that should be enough to see us through. Until we get to, like, Morthal or whatever. Right? It's crazy to still be oh, working shit. here. <laughs> what if there's more Draugr down there? I know! Good morning, or good night, or whatever. Have a good one. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Where is our... Let's see, we have one of the... Oh, shit. Okay this draft of strength is 30 but we need a bit more will 40 do 40 made no it will not okay elixir 60 will do oh no it won't it is just barely under if anyone sneaks up on us i'll smell them i will shoulder some of your burden okay here dude take all these there we are that's enough okay Kashi now we just have to haul ass over to Morthal, right? <laughs> if I want to actually make off with all this amazing woot loot. Okay. Can I haul ass over to Morthal from here? Oh, God. I don't know if I can. We may need to turn around and go to Markarth, right? Okay. <laughs> We're change of plans. We are going to Markarth. Woo! <laughs> all right. Good, good, good. Let's run on around this way. Hopefully we don't get like a dragon lord who appears. I think we will though. It's screaming at us, but maybe it's just hanging out by like a burial site or whatever. Oh god, I can see it. Oh jeez, it's right over there. Okay, alright. It wants to rumble. Alright. Where will it land? It's going to attack the mining village, isn't it? Okay. Let's see. Are you gonna come down here, dude? Good lord, I hope so. Okay. Well, it's just kind of circling around. It may, it may actually just fuck off. Well, no, it would have already done so, wouldn't it? It's getting into position. Oh, shit. Ooh, this is an ancient one, huh? Okay. Let's see. Here we are. Do we have anything that we want to use on it? We could use, like, this venom. Hmm. Let's use it. Here we are. Good. Ah! Ooh, shit, our crit went off. Good. Okay. Great. Hopefully it lands again. Here we go. Ooh, 
Oh shit, was that a charge? There we are. Making good work. Okay. This is a great spot. It's gotta be set. Oh shit, we are hungry. Eating a bit. Good. Oh, fuck. All right, man, when we don't block it, it fucking sucks big time, huh? Okay. Let's get some healing going on. Let's see. Should we pop a whole bunch of these smaller ones? I think maybe we do that. Right? Let's see. Oh, that's good enough for now. There we go. Good. Whew. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Let's see. Let's take your shit. There we go. All this dragon stuff, we may as well lay it down here on the ground. Maybe we'll come back for it later. Who knows? All right. I gotta go. May be dead now. See you all. Maybe have a good one. <laughs> yep. Look at me go. I'm sucking it up. I'm the dragonborn. Double keen, double keen. Shmooka nook nook. Maureen. <laughs> Whatever they say. There we are. Let's see. Let's get our sprint as well. Woo! Cool. All right. Beautiful. What a great way to start the day, huh? <laughs> Kill a fucking ancient dragon. All right. Down here. Oh, jeez. Yeah! There we are. Okay. Let's continue. Did any dudes respawn here? Falmer? Or Falmer, Forsworn. Okay, uh, I think we're fine. I think we're A-OK. -okay. Good. Good, good, good. We should be able to make our way through this, like, little Riverland area, right? Boom! Yeah, looks good enough. There's iron there, but you know what? We maybe... No, we need to take it, right? Iron is so good. Okay, iron might be one of the best now. Good. Okay. And then, let's equip this. We are slightly encumbered, but I'm willing to drop a goat hide. <laughs> there we are. Boom! Good. Crab battle along the way. Super speed crab. More crabs. Uh, yeah, that crab was doing a cool dance. Sorry, crab. All right, over here. Let's see, bring up the map. Okay, so now on the left, and we should be able to see it shortly. Right? In the city. Here we go. Good, good, good. <laughs> it's fucking like emergency loot run. Woo! Okay, how the hell do I get back up, though? That's the real question. I think I have to do it from right there, actually. Right? That looks... Yeah, that looks correct. On this, like, little embankment. Okay. Oh, take a dip in that. Some refreshing water. Look at that. It's, like, beautiful barely muddied. Okay. Boom! This way. And I think we're good to go. Oh, shit. These fucking flowers, huh? <laughs> Should I drop an elk hide? Yep, I'm doing it. Because you know what's worth more than an elk's hide? Just a couple of flowers. <laughs> Amazingly enough. Okay. Boom! There we are. Up here. There it is. There's old Markarth. Love it. Oh, shit. My potion wore off, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, God. Do I have another one? Let's see. Strength. Oh, I do. I totally do. Boom. Okay. Well, this is working out amazingly well. Okay. Look, juniper berries all over the place. Cool. It's probably a bad thing that I, I can't help myself with these, but, you know, hey. These are great. Oh, shit. A shitload of eggs. You know what? Look at what we're gonna do. Look at this. This is gonna be genius. Alright. Let's get some restore stamina going on. There we are. Good. And now we can move again. Look. And it gives us sprinty speed. Look at that. That's genius. That's smart. 
All right. Up and over. Oh, shit. We're missing some flowers. There we go. Got some little butterflies. Oh, gosh. There we are. There we are. Good. Okay. And up here to Markarth. Just, like, spamming the E button to loot everything as we're running by. Oh, shit. Boom! I need to ask oh, for fuck's stop. sake. That shouting is making people nervous. Yep, won't happen again. Won't happen again. Good. Glad we straightened that out. <laughs> okay. Okay, dude. Let's see. Over here. Let's get some more stamina inside of us, maybe. Oh, shit. No, we can't. Look, I've picked up too many flowers. Here, I'm going to eat some bread. Look at that. Cool. Okay. Good. Up into town over here. So we can't shout anymore because they hate it here. But you know what? We made it to Markarth. And look. Prior Mabel is here as well. I guess, you know what? We had our little excursion deeper into the, the area. We'll just go to Morthal. <laughs> We'll, we'll take a carriage to Morthal. It's fine. It's fine. Right? It's fine. Oh, you know what? If anything, this is a great opportunity. Look, we're in a city. I can sell a whole bunch of shit off. We'll probably, like, carriage ride around to other cities as well and take care of business just in general. Right? The bloodiest beef in the reach. Ugh. Oh, hey, there's a new beef man. Hey, what happened to the... Oh, new beef man. Hognai Red Arm. Don't try to haggle with me. Buy or leave. Oh no, you, yeah, you've been here, right? Dare I ask where all this meat comes from? Ah, now that is a good question. Where does Hogney get the finest, freshest meat from all over the reach? The answer is simple, orcs. There is a stronghold nearby whose hunters can butcher a deer in seconds. Now having an orc for a wife would be something, yes. Strong and bulky. <laughs> Too bad they don't let people go beyond the walls. <laughs> I hear that, Let Hogmeade. me show you where they are. Maybe they welcome you. Maybe they put an arrow in your face. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, Hogney, I agree. Sounds great, but what a what a pivot. Just all of a sudden, you want to know where I get all this beef from? Well, the orc stronghold. Now, oh, having an orc for a wife. Just what a what a pivot. What a pivot. I had some questions about Markarth. Do I look like a guide? Only thing I do is sell meat. Are you going to buy or not? Oh, okay. <laughs> Come back when you need more meat. Bring gold. Okay, what sounds good. Great. Well, you know what? Hey, perfect. Like I said, I think um, when next we come back, we'll have traveled around all of the various you cities we've been to, sold off some stuff. Who knows? We may even begin in Morthal, right? Just as we had uh, planned. Huh? Now, if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing, of course, a little bit of reading. Now, what should we read this time? Let me consult my tome here in real life. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Walking the World. Right. We may as well get this out of the way, because it kind of shows up everywhere, right? We've seen quite a few iterations of it. But there is only the one volume in this game. Walking the World, volume... 11. Hmm. All right. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a quick drink here. Sorry. Walking the World, Volume 11, Solitude, by Spatior Munius. Let's see. Let me cross it off just as well. Almost forgot. There we go. Good. Welcome, friend. In our latest volume, we cover solitude. Spatior could not be more pleased to be at the very seat of imperial power in Skyrim. In the course of our tour, you'll see that solitude's riches extend from her people to the history and architecture that make up the city itself. As ever, we begin our journey outside the city walls, this time at the bottom of the hill that ascends all the way to Solitude's massive gates, Solitude's surroundings. Before scaling the hill to the city, you should be sure to take in the sights, wander the track that leads down to the docks, and you can stop to enjoy one of the best views of the Great Arch. 
originally serving as both a landmark and windbreak for Solitude's port. The easily defended Great Arch also provided an ideal building site for the ancient Nords. The city gradually grew to extend across the entire length of the Arch. This growth culminated in the building of the Blue Palace, home of the High Kings and Queens of Skyrim. We will visit the palace later. The Gates of Solitude Entrance to Solitude is guarded by two gates and three towers. The first of these towers, situated at the crossroads, is Sky Tower. It's mostly a lookout, although in times of war, barricades are erected across the nearby road to act as a first line of defense. Do we ever see that? I wonder if that ever happens. The second tower and first smaller gate are collectively known as the Squall Gate. Here, attacking armies meet their first real resistance. Last and most certainly impressive is the Storm Gate. While Castle Dower, found just within the city's main gate, has always been a massive walled structure. Solitude's outer walls and gates were not added until shortly after the coronation of High King Erling. Looking up and to the left of the main gate, you can see a small hint of Erling's preference for a more rounded style of architecture that we will see later in the Castle Dower extension, as well as the interior arch and the windmill. Now we pass through the gates and enter the main shopping district of Solitude, the Well District. Stepping inside Solitude's gates, you get your first view of the city itself, rising tall and proud before you, banners waving from its crown, is the Emperor's Tower home to the kings of Hafingar before the consolidation of Skyrim and the creation of the Blue Palace. The Emperor's Tower is now used exclusively as guest quarters for emperors who come to visit the city. To your left and right are Solitude's Inn and Shops. Here can be found some of the finest imported goods in Skyrim. After all, Solitude is a wealthy city and with ready access to the major shipping lanes of Tamriel. Continuing ahead, you'll come to the ramp that takes you up to Castle Dower. From here, you can truly feel the weight of this stone bastion's looming presence. The leftmost tower, topped by the pointed roof of Erling's extension, was once the castle barracks and jail. Today, the tower is the center of military power here in Solitude. Looking right past the looming Emperor's Tower, you can, you can glimpse Solitude's natural bridge arcing gracefully over to the windmill. Built during High King Erling's day, the bridge was said to be used discreetly to allow Captain Yeet? <laughs> Yeet? the famous privateer, to enter Castle Dower. Some historians claim that she and the High King were simply attempting to keep their business dealings quiet. Others believe that Yeet, Yeet, and Erling were involved in a more personal level, on a more personal level. At the end of the bridge is the windmill. The tower and the windmill serve as one of Solitude's most recognizable man-made landmarks. The windmill's power was once used to open the gates to what is now the East Empire Company warehouse. But today, that task falls to the strong backs of the dock workers. I wonder what they use the windmill's power for now. Hmm. That is interesting. They have a cons. In what way are, are they powering it? Huh. Interesting. Yeah. What kind of power are we talking about? They haven't harnessed electricity, right? No. Yeah. I mean, Dwemer have, right? Dwemer have. But not like other people who aren't Dwemer. Yeah, weird. Okay. In the shadow of the windmill, you'll find the outdoor market and the well. Here, you can buy a, lo a number of local delicacies, including the famous spiced wine made exclusively in solitude. From here, we'll travel up the ramp and into Castle Dower Courtyard. Yeah, that's interesting. I guess I... The only windmills that I've seen that don't, like, have harnessed electricity are used for like milling right that's what their p 
power is used for. They're kinetic, they're stored like potential energy or whatever, right? I've only ever seen it used for just milling like different kinds of grains. I guess you theoretically could through use of a whole bunch of like, I don't know. Could you, I guess you could have like a system of gears that do that, right? Hmm. Does, how did, um, how did Sothasil power the Clockwork City in Morrowind? Was that magic or was that like steam, like Dwemer steam? Steam power? Yeah, even then, yeah, the Dwemer didn't really necessarily have electricity, did they? It was all steam powered. That said, the the cores in the in the automatons is that a, is that like traditionally harnessed electricity? I don't think it is. Hmm. I'm not sure. That's a good question. All right. Anyway, Castle Dower. As you enter the courtyard of Castle Dower, you are confronted with the Banner of Solitude hanging over the door to what is now Castle Dower proper. At the end of the courtyard stands the impressive Temple of the Divines. The founders of Solitude were deeply devout, and Solitude is the only place in Skyrim where all of the Divines are worshipped in a single temple. All three of the buildings here are well worth taking a look inside. But only the temple and Castle Dower's military wing are open. If you do venture inside the temple, take special note of the alcoves at the front. You can see the empty alcove that once held the shrine of Talos before Talos worship was outlawed. From the courtyard, travel out the exit between Castle Dower and the temple, and you'll get first sight of the Blue Palace. Along the way, be sure to stop outside the Bard's College, a large building on your left marked by the Flame of Kalisos burning beside the steps. Named for a famous bard, it is said that as long as the flame burns, the college will stand. The Bard's College. Looking up from the Bard's College steps, you can see that the college stands taller than the Blue Palace itself. The bards who train here can be heard throughout Skyrim, singing songs that capture the history of the ages. If you get a chance, you should be sure to catch the Burning of King Olaf, an ancient festival where King Olaf is burned in effigy. Continue, continue up the road from the college and you'll reach the courtyard of the Blue Palace, our final destination. The Blue Palace. The Blue Palace is home to the Jarls of Solitude, who for centuries have also served as the High Kings and High Queens of Skyrim. The Northeast Wing, on your left as you enter, holds the living quarters of the Jarl and her court on the top level and various servants below. The Southwest Wing, known as the Pelagius Wing, has fallen into a state of disrepair, named for the famous High King Pelagius the Mad. The wing is rumored to be haunted by the King's ghost. The wing has been locked and left alone since shortly after Pelagius' death. Well, really, huh? I forgot that tidbit. You should be sure to venture inside the Blue Palace. The grand atrium and court chambers are a sight not to be missed. Other points of interest. Spacer has shown you solitude and all its grandeur, but there are a few places more to see. The walls of the city are easily accessible and well worth climbing for the remarkable view. The Solitude Docks are also worth a visit, as they are the largest in Skyrim. That's all for Walking the World Volume 11. Spacior does not know his next destination yet, but you can be sure that where he does go, he will leave you a record of the best things to see. Spacior Munius, World Traveler. Is Spacer Munius a Khajiit? Because they refer to themselves in third person, which is a common, like, a speech pattern for Khajiit. They just have like a very imperial name? Maybe? Weird. Or maybe they're just a strange person who is like full of themselves or whatever and do refer to themselves in third person all the time. 
Maybe. Who can say? Weird. It'd be cool if you met him in a future game or something like that. All right. When next we come back, like I said. I've ever seen. The guard should take you away. Uh. The only people I offend are cheats who don't pay me enough gold coin. Or idiots who don't know good meat when I throw it at their faces. If you ever think of throwing meat at me, I will have you dragged off to Sydna Mine so fast the guards will yank those filthy arms of yours off. What do I do to deserve such hatred? You give people good food at good prices, and all they do is insult you. If you ever throw Wait, meat at me? I know you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> all right. When next we come back, we may not be here anymore. We may be in Morthal, ready to head on out to that uh, word of power and all that. We've probably gotten a whole bunch of stuff done in the meantime, right? We have a whole lot of crafting and shit to do. Maybe we'll even cook up that um, two-handed boost equipment, right? That way we can level that shit up real quick, huh? Could do. Could do. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>